What's up, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of Lockdown 23 and 1. Last night, some of y'all were fortunate to get a little sneak peek of some content that I was probably going to bring to the channel. I'm not really sure yet. Reactions to the show Intervention. The reason why I'm not sure is because I'm a damn comedian when I do these reactions, and it's not really a comedic type of genre. If I decide to do them, I'll probably put them on my other channel, 23 and one highlights. Don't forget to subscribe over there. But anyways, today we are in the courtroom once again for the first clip. This young buckaroonie that you're about to see talks to the judge like he's his son. Judge don't like that, especially when the person killed his own mother and sister. Grandson Stefan Roby has been found guilty of being responsible for the deaths of two of the most vulnerable, non-threatening people in his life his mother and his little sister so this dude right here killed his mom and his little sister and his grandma's taking the stand still trying to say good things about him that's what i call a good grammy and nothing was entered during his trial in his defense that led our family to believe otherwise but in spite of his terrible crime his mother would still want him to receive the mental health treatment that he so adamantly rejected in the past he don't care. I feel as though that most of my emotions didn't get past because you were distracted. Well, that, that is totally untrue. Well, was, when she was on the stand, your phone kept going off a couple of times and you kept asking her was it her phone. When I came into the courtroom, I seen you on the phone. Huh. Not while the court was in session. Okay, but your phone's still going off and you were still distracted by the phone. No, that is untrue. Your Honor, come on now. Give me the phone phone you'll get it back at the end of trial who's the judge here by the way since when do judges wear striped outfits that's totally untrue and, and that has nothing to do with the, the yes sentence. it does have something to do with it do you have anything you want to tell me in regards to this sentence yes i want to vote for this trial because i don't deny it. Ooh, anything else deny uh, this is one of the most egregious cases i've ever had it might be one of the most egregious cases you've ever seen. But that damn chair is far from egregious. Looks like it was hand whittled out a fairy tale. And those Harry Potter glasses to match. Egregious cases I've ever had when you shoot and murder your mother. The, the, the woman that brought you into this world and your sister. And uh, Dang. you're going to spend the rest of your natural life in prison. Hopefully someday you'll think about that. Get him out of here. I'm done. You Let's hear that shit one more time. This guy talks crazy right before he gets sentenced to life. Tell me in regards to this sentence. Yes, I'm right. False on this trial because I don't deny it. Sizzlers. First off, how are you going to talk shit to a judge and tell him that he just don't care about the case, he's on his cell phone, all that, then try to file for a uh, mistrial? Judge denied that faster than me asking my girl to go to club. This is one of the most egregious cases I've ever had. When you shoot and murder your mother, don't worry about, don't worry about what I did. Brought you into this don't, world don't worry about what sister. I did, dog. And uh, you're going to spend the rest of your natural life in prison. Don't worry, Hopefully someday don't worry you'll about my about time. That. I'll Get do it. Out of here. I'm done. Smoke that damn shit. Straight to the white meat. Holy shit. Look at them dual action Dells, baby. Man, I love watching people get sentenced to life to actually deserve it. You kill your mom and your little sister, man. Come on, that's just damn pure treacherous. Whenever I hear about these stories, only imagine what kind of demons they're living with in that damn cell, man. I can guarantee this guy's gonna end up killing someone in prison, man. Almost guaranteed because someone that's killed his mom and his sister, man, and killing some random is like nothing to him. But I got another classic clip coming your way right quick. Y'all ready? This is a real thing. Oh, I can't take Stop. it. It's so bad. That just sounded like it came from the lower gut. I didn't know a man could stink that bad. Ooh. <laughs> it's like an animal crawled up his backside and died three weeks ago. Damn, three Stop weeks? We're doing head count now. Doing well, head count. Step that shit inside. <laughs> oh, old head was just tired of seeing his punk ass wave that thing around all day. You need that in your hand. Light on. I can't get this stuff out of my nose. This uh. is a real thing. Ooh. I can't take it. It's so bad. Oh shit, I'm watching a replay. Was this a replay? That bad. How'd we end oh. up in a replay? <laughs> 
That guy is totally disrespecting his ass. He don't give two shits about him. That dude with the dreadlocks, you see him, man? You know damn well if he was in a cell with someone else, he wouldn't be blowing ass like that. And if he was, he's damn batshit crazy. Because he could get seriously injured or even killed for doing stuff like that, man. Now, last but not least, I got a clip coming from California I thought was pretty interesting. It says, dude experiences L.A. County politics for the first time. The day, that I, the day after I turned 18, they sent me to the L.A. County Jail. When they sent me to the L.A. County Jail, it was me, a dude from Hoover, and two Mexicans. It was two blacks and two Mexicans. And during our hall, we all smoke with each other. We fight each other and so all that. It ain't no politics. When we was, we would ride on the county bus. We ride on the bus. When we go to court, we ride on the bus with the adults who just be in orange. When we rode from juvenile hall to the county, we was getting processed. When we, after we go through booking, we went to the shower. But when we was in booking, before we went to the shower, we was in there talking about smoking with each other. But the Southsiders had told the Hispanic dude that was with us unbeknownst to us that he couldn't smoke with us but we was talking about it when we got to the tank the whole time like when you first come in that it's like in the county jail once you walk through it's like little tanks that's open where you go through booking right there they call you to a window you go to the window you give them your information when you're there they give you a pin key you can go use the phone and let your people know you've been arrested you feel me so in there we was talking about when we go to our next destination we gonna smoke so at some point in time, from us going to there and us going to the holding tank, the Southsider had told the young Southsider, the Mexican that was with us, like he couldn't smoke with us. So when we was in there, we were like, you want to hit it? He like, he turned it down. And that was my first time experiencing politics. Well, there you have it on TikTok at Big House Stories. If you want to go check them out, follow them up. But uh, see, shit like that never happens over here in the East Coast for the most part, black, white, Brown, it don't matter man you want to smoke and you're all friends you're gonna smoke the only thing that would probably keep you separated is you know if you're a part of separate organizations or whatever but you see how dude explains someone came up to uh the other south sider and said hey bro now you ain't gonna be smoking with them if people are worried about not knowing what to do in california lockup man i'm sure and i know for a fact that some places actually have people that will come up and kind of instruct you on what the rules and regulations are and even if they don't i'm sure a lot of people if you make mistakes like smoke a j with someone you're not supposed to smoke a j with i can almost guarantee they're just gonna take a break on you man especially if you look like you're fresh new and you don't know nothing about the system but i've heard of stories where people did stuff like this and they knew better and if you know better and still do the wrong thing like interact with people you're not supposed to interact with especially in california man you're liable to die man that shit's crazy as hell right but that's prison politics in a nutshell. Glad I ain't got to deal with that shit no more. All my politics are right here in my own crib. And I'm the president day. Stay free, ladies and gentlemen. Don't forget to hit that like, subscribe, notification bell before you leave.